Hello and welcome to. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about fonts and how to install them on Windows 10. It will be pretty much the same on your previous versions, you just have to go to control panel a different way. However, let's just start out with one thing that might be a bit confusing once you start playing around with fonts. And that's the extension of the fonts. The extensions you will come across will be TTF or OTF. TTF stands for Two Type Font and OTF stands for Open Type Font. The most important part of these two is they're both compatible with both Mac and Windows since 2001. So let's dig a bit deeper than that. Which font extension should you then choose? Well, essentially you can choose both of them because if you're just doing the word document or something like that, it doesn't really matter. However, if you're going to do typography or graphic design project, you might be more interested in your OTF file because of the features that it comes with it. However, do make sure that this OTF file is actually not just a TTF file in shape of an OTF file. So, as I said, it's possible to have the TTF file in the shape of it by not enabling the features that an OTF file normally has. So, let's just talk about this OTF file. What is it exactly? Well, OTF files were developed by Microsoft and Apple. And what the OTF file actually can do is it can contain a PostScript file which was developed by Adobe. And what's different about this? Well, the normal TTF file would be drawn with quadratic curve, so that would be four points to make a curve. However, with PostScript, it's cubic curves, so it uses less points to make a smoother curve, and thus you get a nicer product out of it at the end. That is pretty much what it is to it. They're both compatible, both can be used on all devices pretty much, and it's not a huge difference you're going to get. And what you're most likely going to come across, as I said, is the TTF file. If you download it from anywhere, this is free. All right, let's move on to actually installing these fonts. So there's many ways you can obtain fonts. You can either buy them through a website, so, and there's also a lot of free ones out there. I would, however, caution you a bit about using free fonts if you're going to use it for any sort of branding material or promotional material of any significance to your company, because the free fonts are widely used and it's not the same amount of work that's put into these free fonts as the professionally done ones that you buy. So just keep that in mind if you're going to do any corporate identity work. So let's just use some free fonts for this tutorial. So if you just search on Google and you can then find, well there's a long list here, different ones where you can obtain fonts from. But let's take this one up here for example. This is the first one. So as you see here, you can just click download and it will provide you with a zip file. I already downloaded some fonts here, so I got an OTF file and a TTF file just to show you how it works. So if you call that down and if you then find your fonts, you just download, it will be in your downloads folder. But I put them here so you have your downloads folder there, down there where you will have it. So I have two here, so what you need to do since it's in the zip file is you need to open it and extract the files. If you just were to double click, you get into it, but you won't be able to actually copy these files into where you need them without actually taking them out of the folder. So you could copy them out of the folder into some other folder, but you can't copy them straight into where you, the fonts are. So let's just extract them fully here. So the way you do that is you right click on it and just click that and right click. And then you click extract all. You might have Invra on your, and it will then be down here, extractor. Extract here or extract files. You both will work. It will just depend on how you want them out in this folder or whether you want to specify a folder. You might also have WinZip, which will basically be able to do the same. In this one, we're just going to use Windows 10's version here. So we just click extract all. So if you're running Windows 10, you should have this one as well. So you see here, there's a path. So this would be the folder and then we'll just click extract and there we have it so you get some uh, some pictures here along we know that interesting in these the ones we are interested in are here and you will notice if I change the view up here like that oh Let's see if we can find detailed one there you see on type we have true type font file here so these are the true type fonts so let's just go in and extract the other one. So we got a folder here. We should extract this one as well. Do the same as before. Like that. You will notice we have an open type here. 
So how do we get these in? Well, since we're gonna get both of them, just just copy that one. So Control C, and then I'm gonna go into my other folder here. Just do Control C in here, and there mark both of them, all of them as it is. That's three of them, and Control C all of them. So now we've got the TTF files and OTF files. What you want to do is go down here and right click. And then you want to find the control panel. If you're on Windows 8 or Windows 7, you might have another path in. So you open your menu and it will say control panel. So you click control panel. And in here, we then want to be looking for appearances and personality. And then down here, you have a folder called fonts. And then all you do in this folder is you're going to copy the fonts into it. It might take a bit of time just to load all these fonts. So you just do control V in here. And you see it's doing a bit of work here. You see it's installing the fonts. And that's pretty much it. If you, however, should have a program open at the same time, say we had paint open, and we wanted to use these files, you will have to close the program to, for it to register that the files have been installed. So let's just look at the file names, the ones we just installed. We had Pesita, I think it's pronounced. So let's just find it. There. And we should find them in here now. Let's give it a bit of time to load all the fonts. So, for Pesita, search for it. There we are. So, that's the font we just installed. And it will be the exact same thing for the other fonts. So, both are installed. There was no error when it installed. And you're good to go to be working with your fonts from there on. So we no longer need these fonts. You can just delete those once you install them. Alright, I hope we can help you guys. And don't forget to subscribe.